We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Hello friends, welcome you. I am Assistant Professor Milan Patel from Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center, Nausari. Last time we discussed three phase half wave, uncontrolled and controlled rectifier with R and RL. Today we will discuss three phase full wave, uncontrolled rectifier with R load now the main difference between half and full wave rectifier is this in which six switches are there in full bridge and in half bridge there was three switches are there now here for every phase two switches are there for phase a one four for phase b three six for phase c five two and the load is connected like this now this is simple over delta star transformer this is our this is our uh, primary side this is our secondary side okay now we can easily differentiate that in full wave the voltage across load will be like this suppose so the voltage across this load is A and B so we can see that this is a voltage V A B so this voltage is called line voltage So now in three phase full wave rectifier we have to draw the waveform output voltage waveform in form of line voltage for every 60 degree interval two switches will turn on this is the line current IA line current IB and line current IC the load current will I0 will become the summation of IA IB and I see. So suppose I assume that at a time switch number one and switch number two will be in on condition. So our path will be complete like this from switch number one of phase A to the load load to the switch switch number two of phase C. So our voltage will called VCB. VCB. Same thing for opposite waveform. We can assume that switch number five instead of two, and switch number four instead of one, in on condition. So our path will be like this. from here switch number 5 to load then 4 to phase A so in this case same as reverse as uh, this case is reverse than previous so we can simply th say that this voltage is called VCA V C A and this is opposite of V A C 
so now we will see the waveforms of output voltage and output current how to draw it let's see how to draw the waveforms for the full wave rectifier okay first divide the interval sorry divide the whole cycle in 60 degree interval then create triangle as shown it is very easy method to draw line voltages now draw opposite triangles okay after this connect these two tips of the triangles like this then connect all the tips like this Okay, after connecting this, connect all the tips in semicircular form like this. Now we can see that from zero from this is our first voltage zero to three sixty and it is called VAC it is called VAC now we know that after 120 degree other voltage will be there and it is called sorry this is V A B this is V B C okay so this is V B C and at 240 degree the voltage V C A will be there this is the sequence VAB, VBC, VCA. Now we know that exit opposite to the VAB. The waveform VBA will be there. Okay, same for this exit opposite to the VBC. VCB will there and last opposite to this VCA means V AC is there so there are six voltages are there V A B V A C V B C V B A V C A V C B. Okay, so this is the input voltage in form of line voltage to our rectifier. Now, simply our output voltage will be like this. This. So draw output voltage will be like this
simple this is our output voltage okay now output current again is equal to v0 by r or ia plus ib plus ic so this is our output voltage and output current waveform for the particular three phase rectifier now derive the switches for particular 60 degree know that there are phase a b and c for phase e positive switches are 1 3 and 5 negative switches are 4 6 2 now which switch will be on in particular period will be derived from this now v a b v a b means a positive switch and b negative switch so 1 6 v a c again one positive switch c negative means 2 now b positive means 3 c negative means 2 same thing b 3 a 4 4 now c a 5 6 now c b sorry c a for c a it will be like 5 4 and c b it is 5 6 again this is 1 6 whatever like this so this is the so this is the input voltage for the our three phase full wave rectifier and this is the diodes for on condition for particular 60 degree interval this is our output voltage v0 this is the current with r load now this output current i0 is the summation of ia ib is the line current of the particular phase ia ib and ic 